a really great way to start playing acoustic blues. It's a very simple blues. Basically we have E, A and A7 and B7 and a few variations thrown in there as you start to become more fluent and more confident with it. You can play around with it. Because of its simple structure it gives us a bit of a problem. Because as we start to sing, verse after verse, we want to make it a little bit uh, different. We want to add variations. Because if we just play a basic E chord, or a basic A chord, it quickly gets very boring, or it can do. And this is the cardinal sin. We must not bore people when we play, when we play blues or any other kind of music. So what do we do? We introduce in variations which inevitably inevitably mean that we've got to use the fretboard but we don't want to get too complicated because remember we've always got to maintain that the old blues feeling or at least try and capture it as best we can try and keep the old blues way of playing but while we're singing we don't really want to be playing lots of complicated stuff and unless you're Tommy Emmanuel then go ahead so we're going to use very simple ideas to try and give this kind of old delta blues feel <laughs> 